look around because there's a revolution happening in New York and the touring cast of Hamilton is hitting the Hammonds Hall stage. Joining me now via Zoom is Edrid Utomi, who stars as show lead Alexander Hamilton. Edrid, how are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for joining me. Okay, so Thanks let's just start with this. Hamilton is a really complex Broadway hit full of incredible dancing, staging, dynamic, dynamic music, and so much more. So what's it like for you being a part of this unique show? It is uh, and was my dream show. Before I was in Hamilton, it was the show that I was like, oh my gosh, I wish that I could be in that someday. So <laughs> being in the show is is so surreal. Um, it's never lost on me. It, I've been on... I've been with the cast since 2018, um, so a long time. And every night, I still get chills during curtain call. I still like tear up because it's such it's such a blessing to be a part of the show and to be a part of this cast specifically. It's it's pretty surreal. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I saw the show last night, and I can totally understand how you're overcome with emotion constantly because the show is brilliant. Well, um, as I mentioned, you play the title role in the show of Hamilton. So, what's it like playing this role? It is it is is pretty wild. Uh, it's pretty it's pretty wild just because um, Lynn is still like a, alive and around. A lot of this time you play a role that like the creator also didn't play the lead role. So the fact that like it has such a love um, and such a fan base and that the creator is still like around and creating and has been in it. Um, it's pretty wild. I, it was very daunting when I first took over. Yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, like I have to do it such justice, you know? And I still have uh, that that wants to do the role, you know, so excellently, mm -hmm. but the nerves have kind of calmed down. I've been doing it for a while. So I'm like, okay, I'm good. I'm all right. I can, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I put my own little flavor on it. Um, I hope people, you know, like our, our versions of the characters. Um, but yeah, the, the nerves have gone away a little bit, but now it's, you know, now we have fun and we tell the story and it's, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's such a big role to fill, you know, filling big shoes, but you do such an incredible job at it. So, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, you know, Hamilton was a rather complicated man. So what surprised you most about um, him and embodying him night after night on stage? Yeah, you know, I, um, I knew nothing about him, like as a, a human <laughs> before the show, really. Um, I didn't, I guess pay attention in history class or maybe we didn't talk about him back in the day but um i think pretty much all of his life surprised me and playing the role um i i was surprised by how vulnerable of a person he was mm -hmm. um and at least my portrayal of him i think is, is is quite vulnerable just because you know i think any person who has great aspirations um and who wants to li leave a lasting legacy um has also the moments of like will i be good enough <laughs> am i good enough mm -hmm. um and so that like the insecurity that comes with trying to be great i think is is um a beautiful juxtaposition to play in the same type of role um and i think it's very human i think it's you know everybody who who wants to shoot for greatness is always worried about falling you know mm -hmm. um so i think i was i was surprised by the vulnerability of it all um and by how eliza helps you know him tap into that and, um and gives him something to live for because you know when he's young there's you know not a spoiler, really, but <laughs> most of Act One, you know, he has a death wish in, in a way. He wants to go out in a blaze of glory and leave yeah. that type of legacy. Um, and kind of over time and with the addition of Eliza and the love of his life, um, he, he wants to have a different type of legacy. He wants to still have it be lasting, but he wants to kind of live <laughs> yeah. and not die, you know, at a young age and have that be the legacy. He wants to have, you know, a long body of work be his legacy um which i yeah it's it was it was very cool to explore kind of that shift um in the character over over the course of the show yeah for sure i can totally imagine what that's like um you know yeah because yeah. legacy is just something that i think we're all striving for especially what kind of le legacy yeah. we're going to leave but you know this yeah. show has become such an international cultural phenomenon so how does it feel performing this show in springfield with this being hamilton southwest premiere it's it's pretty cool. It's really it's really uh, great to just tour to every city. But Springfield's been lovely. The audiences have been great. The theater is gorgeous, um, and I am sure you all are. He says that about every town, but not every town is like that. Right. So we've had a great, um, not warm welcome because it's pretty cold outside. But we've had a great <laughs> welcome, <laughs> and the audiences have been solid. And we're looking forward to um, 
to continuing our performance this year. We're here for the rest of this week and another week, um, and we've had, been having great times, so I'm, I'm hoping that that continues. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you touched on this a little bit, but Hamilton speaks for itself in so many ways, but you do still have some tickets available. So tell me why people yeah. need to come out and see this show. People need to come out and see this show. This is my elevator pitch. Oh, people need to come out and see the show because I think it's going to be unlike a lot of Broadway shows you've seen. Um, also, if you've heard things about the show and you're like, I don't know if I like hip hop. I don't know if I like that. I promise you this show has something for everybody. Yeah. It has the hip hop for the hip hop heads. It has beautiful acting by all of my castmates and hopefully me that night. Um, it has, you know, old Broadway ballads. It has jazz parts. It has musical theater. Parts. It has every single thing. And at the end of the day, um, it is a beautiful story. It's a beautiful story about legacy, about family, about all the things that make us human, all the good and all the bad. These are great big people that we've put on pedestals for years, um, but our show kind of does dive into a little bit uh, the flaws of these people as well. We have put them on pedestal and they're great and we, we learn to love them, but also this show humanizes them in a way. Um, it makes them a lot more relatable. So I think this show has a little bit for everybody um, and I trust that if you come, you will have a good time. Yeah. And if you don't, um, shoot me a DM on Instagram and I will personally apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. All right. We've got a best ability graphic up on screen for all of our viewers. But Edger, tell me if people want more from you or from the show, how can they find both on social media? Um, they can follow me on IG or f um, follow the Hamilton page on IG. Um, also, if you're looking for tickets, you can play the Hamilton app. Um, there's an app on your, you can get on your phone, it's just Hamilton, and you could play the lottery. And if you win the lottery, it's $10 tickets. So I would say if you're looking for chick tickets on the cheap, try the Hamilton app. Um, but yeah, social media, we're active. Hamilton's active on Twitter and Instagram and everything in between. I don't know if they have a MySpace. I think that's a little outdated, <laughs> but uh, they have all the things. You can listen to their music on Spotify or Amazon Music or any other form. Um, yeah, and you can find me on IG. I'm not on Twitter because I don't have a Twitter, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm on IG if you want to follow me. Yeah. A lot of the castmates in the show, I'm sure, are also on uh, yes. IG. Um, so yeah. All right. Fine. All right. Well, easy enough. Edred, thank you so much. For all of our viewers, don't throw away your shot <laughs> to see Hamilton at Hammond's Hall. Buy your tickets now.